righty. Welcome, Texas. All right. Hey, everybody. Welcome to, to Wacom, Wacom, Texas. Texas the, the show where you dream past the part and we screencast some, some art. art. I'm Jay Myers. I'm Chris Kerr. And today's episode is... Raves. Raves. All right. Let's get started. Let's get started. We've done a fill already in the background, so it's black. Yep. Black so, background yeah, because raves. raves need to be dark so you can see these bad puppies in action. Yep. They always happen at night. Sometimes um, through research, we found that um, we didn't plug this in. Oh, yeah. Yeah, you're good to go. Okay. All right. Um, the raves actually happen in the street. So... In fact, some of the first raves were in the street, I think. Yep. So when you go to a rave, you take ecstasy, otherwise known as... Well, you don't have to. You could just drink MSNBC, some fire energy. Otherwise known as MSNBC. Um, that's like the chemical name for it. And you can put on um, a dust mask with uh, Vicks Vapor Rub on the inside. Ooh, and, that sounds like that'd be crazy. Yeah, and it'll like intensify the high. Okay. So you got somebody going crazy here. You always take your shirt off. No, um, you can keep your shirts on. Keep your shirts on, folks. All right. So uh, according to Gibson, rave is a spatial practice, which is done through the harmonization of dance. Oh, really? Uh, music, well, I'm oh, sorry. Harmonization of dance, music, dance, music, and lightning, or lighting. Really? So, a part of a growing global subcultural subcultural. Let me try that again. A part of a growing global subculture and a powerful entertainment industry. So it's an industry now. It's not just a single. Oh yeah, it takes place worldwide, right? Um, I think. Could be um, primarily England, Berlin. Okay, what Chicago? Okay. Chicago. Is that a? Um, okay. All right. Yep. So. Is that it's kind of like get naked and okay no have a good time no getting folks, crazy no okay um, <laughs> what what do you got around your neck there uh, this is glow sticks a lot of times you get hopped up on five-hour energy and you just start waving glow sticks around kind of like you're at the rave yep have you ever been to a rave I one time was not okay. No, I've not been invited to one ever. But yeah, me either. Um, actually, I probably would enjoy it. Sounds like it'd be fun. No, uh, but it's a good time. Um, here's a, a lot of there's a lot of like writhing around on the floor, right? Like, I rolling around, getting I, crazy. I and, think so. So maybe I should do that. Maybe I should have somebody writhing around on the floor here. Okay, I can tell you a little bit of the history. Yeah. In the late yeah, 1950s. I'm sorry, I just had dental work done. In the late 1950s in London, the term rave. Yeah, wow, this goes back to 1950. Okay. Yeah, teeth whitened. Ah, uh, just a little dental work. Yeah. Um, term rave was used to describe the wild bohemian parties. Oh, wow. Of the Soho I know Beatnik. I know all about wild parties. Oh. Kind of a party guy myself, actually. Um, you know anything about partying? Um, I do have some I birthday parties and stuff. I do on on my birthday. Can you hit me with a pink color yep. and a larger point size? Okay. All right, so we got people having a really good time at the rave, and um, obviously you need glow sticks and light um, fog machines um, to complete the the rave. All right. So in the mid to late 1980s. So it's like the fog machine rolling in. And, oh, that's cool. Um, Pink fog. Creating, yeah, a lot of colors and psychotropic, psychedelic effects going on here. And you start seeing ghosts and goblins. I think at the raves they toss these things around. Is it oh, really? Oh. Yeah, they toss these things around. It sounds like a high hazard. Like someone, Sorry. someone could get hurt. Yeah. Yeah, so you got greens and pinks and... Did then, you the then you start seeing um, green beards on people and leprechauns. Ooh, that sounds not so fun. Yeah. No, it's fun. Okay. All right. Take a little break with the spinning wheel of death here. And then we'll keep going. A lot of times they kind of do this. Hey, where'd you get those glasses? Oh, yeah. 
No, we had one um, one pair of glasses that came with the kit, so I mm. took the liberty of um, wearing them. Hope that's all right. And can I? Why have, did you want to? What well, can I wear them? No, you already have glasses. You have you have really cool Are there glasses. Any more in the kit? No, there was only one pair. You have really cool glasses on. Cool guy. All right, and then people's faces start melting off. Make so you okay, just turn it into sounds... like green slime. Okay. Wow. Um, you start seeing, yeah, no. crazy stuff. So maybe it's a good thing I've never been. And so I think raves are popular in the '80s. So because of that, I'm going to use the Miami Vice color scheme, which is always the same: neon, yellow. Pink, well, they were weren't just popular in the '80s. Green. That's kind of where they came from. It says psychedelic and other electronic music was introduced to these dance. Oh yeah, like New Order. I don't know who that is. Well, it might be a little before your time. Um, at um, where I'm from in Kentucky, there's a record store called Ear Ecstasy. Oh, it's like ecstasy that's for little, years. I'm surprised they haven't been shut down. That sounds all right. Well, illegal. I'm gonna wind this down. Um, another common thing that, that happens is people start urinating on themselves and, and losing. Oh wow, track there's of their a bowel movement. Organization called NASA. People start. But it stands not for like the space. People start foaming at the it mouth. It says nice and safe attitudes. Really? Yeah. It was uh, something about the rain dance amnesia house. So this is. Now that's pretty neat. I like that positive kind of a, taking a kind of a negative scene and making it positive. I like that. No, it's all negative. I'm pretty sure. Well, no, because they said nice and safe attitude, and I am a proponent of nice and safe attitudes. I think that's a good idea. Something All right. that really should catch on, kind of like the drug this culture's guy's got like on. a little pee puddle down here. Oh. Urination. Gross. That's gross. You always writhing. Gross. There's a lot of writhing. Okay. I don't know what that means, but that sounds gross. All right. Uh, we, oh, one other thing, you should always stay hydrated when you're taking ecstasy. Uh, it's really de dehydrating. So typically I, when you buy X, it'll come with a bottle of water. Do they cheers? cheers. I can't drink water because I just had dental work done. I'm waiting for the fluoride. But you know what? I'm all about hydration. Oh, that water's strong. That's strong water. All right. All right. So. That's our episode. Whoa. That's our episode. Wave it around a little. Give me some. Okay. Thanks for watching, everybody. Thanks for watching, everybody. Be safe.